another video and today we have another new what if to be specific while well, you read the title card what if deku had high key with our three primary users who really uh well um it wasn't really shanks who taught luffy how to use conquerors it was more regularly but still three primary users in the different hockey of course no need to introduction for them um we first we have katakuri the guy who has future sight which is advanced version of, of <laughs> armor not armament of observation next we have kaido who luffy well he i don't know what to say if he's master rio since we really hasn't seen him use it which is another form of um armament hockey advanced form and of course shanks who we have no idea if there's an advanced form of observation hockey but we he was the first person to show it off by telling the giant sea monster to get lost although he did lose his arm which kind of makes you question if he could have why didn't he stop it from afar <laughs> anyways on to the video. That's why I put the three in these thumbnail. <laughs> of course, a few things would change in Deku's life. Um, with this this timeline where he will be born with a quirk, which means well, not quirk or not. Um, I'll explain it later. <laughs> a quirk, but not exactly a quirk. I'll, I'll explain it later. Um, during now, nah, I'll explain it later. Anyways, um, he would indeed, um, still, he wouldn't get bullied, um, and his mom would not get as stressed, so, um, she wouldn't get as <coughs> big as in canon. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> and him and Bakugo would, I'm sorry, him and Bakugo would be friends. And then you, in a better way than now they are in canon. Well, they are two pretty good friends in canon now if you read the manga. But still, the beginning of their friendship wouldn't be as bad as it was. <laughs> Although I did like it because it did really show character growth for Bakugo. <laughs> well, let's say this. At least Bakugo isn't dead and he Deku every second of his life with a death threat. That's a move up. <laughs> Although he still does do it. <laughs> Is this supposed to be a good thing? <laughs> Anyways, now we get into the actual story. <laughs> First events that would change is Deku versus the slime villain. The slime villain would not be able to spring up a check at him as Deku would be able to sense the, him using observation and would jump out of the way. As such, as he'll take one good look at the sludge villain, the sludge villain would be knocked out. <laughs> and everyone's favorite superhero, All Might, would appear and. And Deku mean Deku, that whole interaction would not change one bit as in canon. I still love it to this day. As we get into the sludge villain attack number two with sludge villain taking over Bakugo. Which Deku would have no real problem of just pulling Bakugo out of the sludge villain with armament hockey and not throwing his butt back to him. I seriously do not know what he was hoping to accomplish doing that. As the sludge villain would try and go for another attack, being angry about this, would be stopped by All Might, who I forgot to put a photo of. <laughs> like in canon, Deku would still be offered one for all, and he would accept, and so the... I forgot how many months of it. Can someone remind me in the comment section how many months of training? So when I start doing My Hero Academia, what ifs again, um, more of them, um, I don't have to um, exactly say however much is canon. So however long it was in canon, I think it was 13 or 9 months. Or I either I'm getting the One Piece time skip mix. No, that wasn't a One Piece time skip. It might have been 9 months, something like that. And of course, the best scene of On My Hair Academia, the funny scene, Deku being offered a hair to get one for all. <laughs> Maybe he could have cooked it. <laughs> I mean, wait, if he needed DNA, why didn't he give him vile blood? <laughs> that was funny. 
Anyways, nothing really changes during the entrance exams. I mean, that could still meet to a rocker. The whole um, practical, not the practical. I think it was the practical. It was called the part with the test with the written. I don't see Deku really changing his scores in this timeline. But during the physical parts, Deku would be able to secure some points. So good for him. Noticing that his hockey is more red than his usual black. It's changed color, basically. As like in canon, the zero point will come in and Deku would save Roraka from it like in canon. Going for a, well, he didn't exactly name it Smash. Um, was it a Detroit Smash? It was, or was it Texas, California? Whichever Smash it was in Kenny, he would still destroy the robot's head. And like, in, unlike in Kenny, his arm wouldn't be broken, but his hockey would, I'm uh, sorry, his hockey arm would be covered, not covered, have a crack on it. For how much power it, he had to use. <laughs> Anyways, from there, Deku still passes, and I don't think he'll be as nervous as in this timeline. He'll still gain um everything, including sixty points, more points, and um so Rock could probably still offering up her, some of her points, but um and all my congratulating him while he did everyone with that message. How you think the matches was for everyone else? Like a like a little. <laughs> Manga of how everyone else saw their message. And how did Invisible Girl pass? This question has not been answered yet. How the freak did Invisible Girl pass? Someone please tell me. This question boggles my head. How did Invisible Girl pass? Anyways, with that, that'll end up off part one. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll probably be doing... More my rack of Damien what ups in the future or be returning back to them as they are what started this channel. But uh, back then, I wasn't as confident as I am now. I mean, back then, I took a hundred breaks before getting the video done. <laughs> now, I'm so confident that I barely take one and only take a few to transition to other stuff. But no, no, no need to know that. <laughs> Anyways, without anyways, hope you enjoyed and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on your way out and see you in the next part, which will probably be what if Naruto was a saying or what if Sakura ate the Tori told me or I'll probably finally go and get to that attack. What if Aaron had the Egyptian God cards? I don't know. I'll put them probably just spin the wheel for it. <laughs>